just out to dinner talking, and these two <laughs> ladies told me that they don't actually like horror films at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too scared. So my obviously the natural question is, how did you end up being in a horror film? Um. They call, they somehow find my name, and I mean, <laughs> this story was really interesting, so I was glad to be a part of it. They called me too. I want to call you, go. Uh, yeah, then we, I met some other girls before Nelly, yeah, we but then, then when we met each other, then they thought, okay, this is, this is how we do it. Cool, cool. Um, because this is quite different to films you have worked on earlier, because I mean, you've both done like more lighter entertainment. <laughs> so what was, the, what was the difference working on a horror film compared to the films you worked on earlier? Or is there any difference? The amount of blood <laughs> <laughs> and dirt and like all the shit we were covered in all the time. And the amount of screaming, because I mean, I lost my voice all the time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was cold. And yeah, I, I think I was kind of sick through the whole <laughs> filming period because it was cold and we were screaming just in the forest all the time. Yeah, um, I haven't done a lot before. This is my first big role, so um, I can't really compare it to anything. But yeah, it was a really good experience. We did a good job. I think, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a great little film, and you both really do well with what you got in the role, and it's you know. I hope it does really well. It, does do, it is doing really well as well. Yeah. You said that it's doing a lot of festivals and it's played yeah. very well in Finland. Yeah, it's been number one for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure is it anymore, but that was surprising it's because Finns don't like <laughs> Finns don't like horror films. Yeah. I think the last one was Sona, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there was a couple of uh, there's this soap soap opera in Finland and, and from that they made a couple of really shitty horror films. <laughs> yeah. So we don't even count them. Those are the only two horror films that have came out in the last ten years. But it's also got the very, very classic Finnish melancholy, you know, almost pasted all over the film. Well, which, which I find is cool. You gotta have that it's if it's a Finnish film. <laughs> <laughs> um, Would you be working in more films in genre at all, or would you just go anywhere it goes, or would you be looking for genre films, or where would you where would you go acting wise, career wise? You mean what's like the next step? Yeah, what would you want to do? Um, well, I don't really have anything to tell right now, but I've been in contact with the United States mm -hmm. people from there, so she's gonna be an American actress. Oh, <laughs> Hollywood, <laughs> next step. I would do another horror film if it's. Yeah. If it's good, I don't know. So you had a good time doing horror film? Yeah. 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 Cold. <laughs> so very yeah. cold. It's the first frosty nights in Finland in the bikinis. <laughs> yeah. We had a little tent sauna <laughs> because it was so cold that like, we, we had to have a tent sauna. Yeah. And then we ran in there and then back to set. And the me in the water. <laughs> I was really in the water. <laughs> that was like... That was an acting. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to ask that. What was most challenging? And obviously, the, the underwater scenes must be quite advanced. Yeah. And I mean, well, when I got the role, I was still 16. So, you know, it was really challenging to, you know, just go in and do everything and learn everything. I haven't done anything before, really. So everything was quite new. But, yeah, I've got a hang well, of it. <laughs> <clears throat> there is a way of reading this film as, like, uh, a discussion on social medias and you know where people are going and how how we act against each other with the oh we've seen the film so it won't be a spoiler <laughs> with uh, all the, the 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 photographs that are supposed to be taken were not really taken but it's it's quite an interesting message to put into a horror film do you, do you, uh, into a genre film do you feel that genre films should have messages or should they just I be horror films if they want to have, they can have. <laughs> but I mean, not necessarily. You can have a good genre film without a hidden message. I think the hidden message here is, don't be a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Uh, I think we, if we open it up and, sorry. 
Oh, you're fine. <laughs> if we open it up and see if anybody wants to ask questions in the audience. I will. If you try shouting, we'll see what happens. You at the back, stop. Yeah, you. Uh, was this filmed at the actual lake bottom? Yeah. No, we couldn't film at the actual lake bottom because there's a, well, there's Angry beautiful Birds houses Park. and Angry Birds Park and children playing around. Not that scary. <laughs> so, not really. It's and also, our director said that um, the lake is pretty small, so it was quite hard to, you know, if people would want to film there. It was quite hard because, you know, you need to have a lot of people, lights, everything. So, yeah. But we were close. We were in, yeah, in we were Espo close. in the same same. Yeah, same city, just a different forest. Yeah. Yeah. How many shooting days do you have to record a movie? Wow, was this something around 30? 30 days? 30 days? Something like that. I, if, I think I had 23, 24, 25, I don't remember. Something like that. I think in total 30. And then it takes a year to fulfill the movie, right? Yeah, yeah, but we we did some reshooting still last uh, June in the studio one day, S and in fact when we had the the press in in Helsinki, they they finished the film the night before. Yeah, <laughs> so really, they took all the time. Yeah, they really took all the time. And they really like to do changes yeah. at the end. I went to do, like, after, I went to do the, what is it called, dubbing? After, after things, four times. Because yeah. they were like, well, let's try in a different way. Let's try in another way. But every time you went there, the movie, the, the movie was, like, almost new. You were like, oh, so this scene is here right now, <laughs> and that's deleted. Okay. But I was like... Uh, do you think making a horror film will affect your career in other genre films? Hopefully not in any bad ways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Not yeah. not yet. Hopefully. <laughs> haven't seen any signs yet. Yeah. Uh, do you have a f uh, like a favorite scene that was cut from the like the actual movie? Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Me too. two of my favorite scenes were cut, so fuck them. <laughs> yeah, we had one that I was waiting for was our kissing scene, and we didn't get it. And yeah, that's so true. That, I mean, all of the kissing was gone, and we were like, no! <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, that was a couple of... We should actually call the director and ask him about that, because that could have been a completely different movie, because that would put the movie into a different perspective. That would have made it like... The fucking all mall of horror films. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, there's a lot of things that it, it changed a lot. I yeah. think we had kind of a lot of material, and then, well, it became this because they cut it like this. But it could have been in many different ways a bit different. Yeah, and actually, the script was like a whole different in the beginning, and it changed it a lot. Like the um, yeah, the whole movie really changed many times, and we read the script like four times, and it was completely different. Our director also liked to just add stuff <laughs> while shooting, like say this, <laughs> in the middle of the scene, he was yeah. screaming, say this, say that. But many, of the, many of the scenes had like a different meaning afterwards, um, and you could like read them differently because, like, in the part when. Um, we're in the in the car and the car has like crashed and she my leg was hurt and she starts to run away from the man That's when we were supposed to kiss and it would have been like different kind of like that's when like we're like we love each other <laughs> Bye, you know <laughs> I'm gonna leave my here leave myself here, but yeah, you know, so a lot of um, They had a lot of a lot of like different meanings afterwards I, 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 I don't know. The director made all the calls all the time. I don't yeah. know. We saw the film the night before the press. Yeah. Because that's when it was almost ready. So, and well, we saw when I was dubbing afterwards, I saw those like little 
parts where we were redoing the, the voice, but <laughs> I didn't see the whole film before, the night before the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't watch horror movies, but the first time you watched this one was scary for you, or was it just... Nope. Like <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you can count three, well. two, one, jump scare. Three, two, one, <laughs> I kill him. Because, I mean, we know what's happening. <laughs> well, myself, um... I'm a really like I get scared really easy and I was really scared during when we were doing the shoot we were really in the forest it was like walking by myself I was really scared so um I did maybe when I was like I knew that it was gonna happen the jump scare and I was waiting for it but I wasn't sure when is it coming so I was waiting for it so bad so I really didn't get scared because I was like oh my god it's here right now so you know I didn't get scared I think we need to wrap things up, we'll go with your question. Yeah, I was just wondering which was the first scene that you shot together? Um, it was the one it where we was, arrived to the... Yeah. yeah, and that was one of my favorite scenes it because it was cut out, like, there was a whole beautiful fight at the, when we were arriving during the day, and then they just cut it out, and... Damn! The <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. liked it. That was the first day, and the second day, was we were Actually, shooting the, the last, last part when we were we were in the bikini um strapped and the guy came and took us to the tent that was actually like the second day so it was cold ass it started with horror <laughs> really it did yeah we'll go with one last one then guys uh, nice to see you thank you very much uh for the movie too uh, thank you and keep up the performance <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there, there was only two, so yeah. <laughs> I really had, but it was surprisingly nice to be a killer. <laughs> yeah, really, it was fun. It was like, kind of in a weird way. People are, people are not gonna expect that. Maybe a lot of people thought they were so sure that it's um, Michael. Um, I mean, Elias, the guy with the tattoos. You know, they always thought it was him. So. It was a nice, you know, change that was the girls. Girl power. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I find is, it, you know, that's what I enjoy about you know, the twists and turns in it. Uh, one thing that I'm curious about is the last question is uh, movies based on real true crime quite sensitive for people and families of victims and stuff. Was there any, ever any issues about that? Well, not report? issues, but we had to Every time when we were talking about this, we had to make sure that everybody understands this is fantasy, 100% fantasy. Yeah, the themes are from the real murder, but it's not, not based not on the all. movie. I mean, the um, the true story is just like inspired by it. So we're not trying to tell what really happened. We're not, you know, our roles are not the real persons. It's just like inspired what what happened. And I think. People understand it, but not all do. Yeah, and then they're all. asking, how can we do this? Their, yeah. their families are still alive. And people. Yeah. It's not, we're not in the 60s. It's the director's responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mimosa and Nelly. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Thank you.